I have a topic I've wanted to talk about for a long time. How to find love as a cynic. Yeah, as a cynic. Um, also known as anybody who's been dating for the last five or seven years out here. And those of you who've been online. I know. I know. There are a thousand red flags. I know there's bad dating behavior. I know that people do all sorts of despicable things. And I do know that if you have a series of these experiences where that is all you are getting, you will come to believe that that is all there is. And you'll start to think that this term relationship and partnership is a fairy tale. Oh, it's something they wrote novels about years ago, when people were respectful and polite, when they didn't ghost, when they didn't pull away, when they didn't do a slow fade, when they weren't hot and cold, when they weren't catfishing you or scamming you. But it can indeed happen. So this is a very quick course for those of you who are cynics. You're jaded, you've been around the block, and you can smell a problem a mile away. And that is the problem. It's kind of like the little kids that believe that they're boogeymen in the closet. I am not for a moment erasing your experiences or minimizing the pain you may have gone through. I am not saying be with an abusive person. I am not saying blow past red flags. But the art of love involves a leap of faith. A leap of faith where we bypass our horrible history and just drop that sack of all this baggage we've been carrying and look again with fresh eyes at the person who's in front of us and try to see if there is somebody there. And yes, there will be glitches. We expect that especially in a new relationship. But if you are holding your breath and assuming that you know what's happening because, oh, now I can just tell they do this and I've got great intuition. They're going to dump me. I know. I have a dear friend that's been going through this and I truly believe that a minor adjustment in her mentality would create an entirely different outcome. So we are talking about the very fine line between knowing what you know, being a smart and savvy dater that can see the dating games and knows the red flags, has boundaries, knows what you want and is dating intentionally, and somebody who is willing and open to walk into the unknown because they are resilient. And this is why I harp on resilient with all of you so much. Resilience is so important. The goal is not to eradicate your feelings. That's not the goal. And so many people are doing that. They're trying to um, take apart their emotions and then go and play in this very difficult terrain. And that's not the goal. The goal is to keep your emotional center intact and aware because what is the other person going to grab onto? They're going to feel who you are, and that, your heartbeat, who you are, your passion, your truth, the allness of you, is what is going to allow them to fall in love with you. So for those of you who are cynics, or if you prefer you're jaded, or you've been around the block, or you're a city kid and you know the score, I don't doubt that you do. But I'd like you to try something. Entertain the possibility that love might exist. And next time you see some leaf flickering in front of you in something a person said, pause. Maybe it's a red flag. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's your fear of you've seen this thing a thousand times. You're just going to run. Again, be resilient. That is more important than being fearful. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. If you'd like to work with me, please go to the consultation page. Sign up for my newsletter. You'll get all sorts of updates. It's on the home page, the bottom. And if you have a video request, it is the last page contact under the media. It says video request. Can't miss it. Love to hear what you would like me to talk about. Thank you.